Hey all, in this very next video, I just want to share part 2 uh, copying mechanism about uh, what is it called? About how to deal with red piece of good anxiety and depression. And on uh, the previous video, you guys can see how to cope mechanism, how to deal with anxiety and my depression how to cope with it is by um, what is it called praying and going somewhere and doing something that you love and i just want to extend it that my coping one of my coping mechanism about it is uh, when i when i am teaching and mentoring my children to be a hundred percent honest to you guys that they put my they put a smile on my face every single day that's make me happy that's make me ready to face another day it sustain me it sustain my life and i just want to thankful to my to all my students that always give uh, what is it called they uh, give me chill every day to put on my to put a smile on my face every single fucking day and I cannot thank them enough maybe if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be why today if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be where I, I am today so yeah uh, so one of my coping, coping mechanism is when I'm teaching and mentoring my children, it is helps me a lot. They uh, always put on my face with their story, with in school and stuff like that, so far and so on. And that's really makes me happy, and it sustains me. It really sustains. It sustain is it sustains my life, and it sustains my what is it called my my what my motivating to live another day because all uh, as you guys see i've been dealing with suicidal thoughts for the past couple of weeks and yeah and you all know that i was rushed to the hospital a week ago because I have been dealing with this suicidal thoughts. You know what? Uh, as you guys know on the previous videos, that my family are number one contributor into my pretty severe anxiety and depression. They are my number one. What's it called? Number one contributor. That is incorporating into my severe anxiety and depression. So yeah, and it's hard you guys to wake up every morning with the sense of hopelessness, with the sense of foreigners, with the sense of helplessness, with the sense of sadness. And I feel that I have to carry so much baggage behind my back. I feel that I can take this persistent loneliness, persistent hopelessness, persistent sadness, and persistent worriness any longer. And it's really incorporating into my severe anxiety and depression that leads me about to think about suicidal talk or attempting to commit to suicide. And I feel that I know at that time I feel that I no longer feel that I have any purpose in life. This family circumstances really built me, really incorporating into my pretty severe anxiety and depression. Then. And I feel that I feel like I can take them any longer. I'm I just telling you guys it's hard to wake up every morning with a sense of 
persistent sadness, persistent worriness, persistent helplessness, and persistent loneliness. And after that, I cannot take them any longer. So you guys, uh, thank you so much for undying support, love, and prayer since day one. I cannot thank you guys enough. It's it really sustained my life. It really sustained my life, and I hope to so I want you guys to keep praying on me, to keep supporting me, to keep loving on me, because it sustained me. It sustained my life, and I feel that I no longer. I'm no longer good that I have any purpose in life. I, I feel that I have to carry this persistent feeling every single fucking day. And I have been dealing with this for the past couple of years. But by teaching and mentoring children, it really helps me to go through the day, to, to go to what is it called uh, to get through the day because my students always putting a smile on my face and I cannot thank them enough because they really sustain my life they really sustain my motivation to be in this earth and I just want to give a shout out, shout out to them for always putting us uh, uh, for always putting a smile on my face and I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are so fucking amazing. Thank you all. You guys really have me a lot to cope with this anxiety and depression. So yeah, I, by teaching and mentoring children uh, for me, it is really reducing anxiety and depression, and it helps me a lot because it sustained me, it sustained my life. So, yeah, and that's all for this video, you so guys. And if you guys have been dealing with a similar situation with similar circumstances, I'm just asking to each and everyone you guys to seek help now. I think there are some mental health resources out there that can help us, that they can help us. Never let the enemy want, never let the anxiety and depression take the best out of you because you matter, your life matters and your, your future life matters. So don't give up. Just keep believing on God, relying upon God. It helps me a lot. It helps you guys a lot because I experience it firsthand when I rely everything up to Him. I feel that the weight on my bed are de de decreasing. So it helps me a lot by praying, by reading the Holy Quran and stuff like that. It really sustains my life and it's helped my life and I just want to encourage you guys to do the same and I just want you guys to share you how are your me coping mechanism when you are you guys are dealing with anxiety and depression I just need you guys to cope with my anxiety and depression uh, to cope with your anxiety and depression I just want to no, your experience. Maybe you guys can share your experience by commenting on the comment box down below. So yeah, that's all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your appreciation. And I just want to encourage you guys to don't give up because you matter, your future life matters, and your life matters. So never give up. Because enemy likes people, people who those people who are giving up and surrender with maybe with the with the life that 
they have gone through but yeah never let the enemy won don't give up don't be surrendered because you matter your life matters and your future life matters so that's all you guys for this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the appreciation and i see you guys in the next video bye Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I love you all. Virtual hugs and virtual kisses to you all. Bye.